What's up, guys? What's going on? I'm in Staten Island, in my home neighborhood, Dole by Lucas Street. Got something different today. Something different. Something different. Let's go eat. Let's review some pizza. Uh, got a little appetizer here. Some fried calamari. Two types of sauces. Marinara. Garlic aioli. A lot of hot peppers in there. Uh, but I'm here for the personal clam. This is for you guys. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. All oh, the smell. Guys, I got to do more clam pies in New York. I've been to Zapati's. I've been to New Haven. I did the Pepe's. I did a few. I got to do more of these in New York. Let's go take a bite. Lots of scallion. Chopped clams. It's called dough for a reason, guys. Oh, crocante, crispy. Mm. Guys, look at the aeration. Mm. Crunchy, crunchy cornicione. Oh man, this is hitting the spot. Little flop, it's heavy, you know, the clams are they're wet. The juice, very juicy. You get that seafood, that briny juicy clam juice. Lots of scallions and parsley. Typically you don't get the fresh mozzarella on a clam pizza. Why not? I'm the type of guy, I'll mix cheese with seafood plates. Whether it's a clam pizza, a pasta, whatever. I'll throw the cheese on there. I throw cheese on everything. Oh man, this, this is good. Mm. In New Haven, they don't, they, they give you the option at two parties. When I went to the parties in, New, in West Haven, I got it with the mozzarella. It comes, it comes standard over here. You get the fresh mutts, nice bake, little cornmeal, I think, maybe semolina. Very herbaceous, herbaceous, parsley, scallion. Oh, hey, under the microscope we go. Let's get a closer look at this beauty. Look at all those slivers of garlic. The clams, are they hand shucked and chopped? I don't know, uh, but look at all the parsley and not just the parsley, okay? Not just the parsley, the garlic, yes but the bell pepper. I never had a clam pie with bell pepper before. You see the bell pepper? I thoroughly enjoyed this. The mozzarella was amazing. It, it was very creamy, very creamy. Okay, good moisture left in it. Not too dry. Look at what we're dealing with here, guys. Look at what we're dealing with. Nice bake, nice bake. Very nice bake. Crispy, see that? See the holes? Look at that. Sometimes crunchy pizza can be tough on the chew. Not the case here. The chew is um, almost tasted like a ciabatta, you know? It wasn't a, it wasn't a tough chew, it was, it was light. Guys, look at the black pepper. You see those specks? Black pepper? Standard. I didn't put it on there. The clams, good briny flavor. Look, this is a solid pie. Let's score it. Guys, the pizza gets cold. We give it another fold. Does the crust remain crunchy? Does it retain its integrity after cooling down? Yes, it does. 
They don't call this place dull for no reason. Look at that, the train station letters. And this is going on the specialty scale, of course. I've done a lot of clam pies. I've done Pepe's, I've done Zupati's, probably some others, I'm, I don't remember. Does this stack up to Pepe's? No. Is it worth coming out here to get it? The crows are coming in on me. They're gonna land on this thing. They're gonna snatch up a slice, I'm telling you right now. Especially after they hear my score. It's an 8-1. It's an 8-1. Absolutely an 8-1, uh, worth trying. It's different. The bell pepper, they throw the black pepper on there. Lots of parsley. Lots of garlic, even though it wasn't, it didn't really permeate through the pie as much as Pepe's. Still very solid pizza. Solid clam pizza. Guys, dough by La Castri. Staten Island. Altonville. Over here, right by the Ellisonville train station. If you happen to be out of town, you get right off the train station. The place is right down the block. All right? You got it. Be well, everyone. Hit the like. Hit the sub if you can. And until next time, this is Antonio signing off.